world, this is the Hacker Tree Plus 7, and today I'm doing a video on benchmarking um, your internet browser. Uh, this works for all browsers, and it's really simple to use. Um, and I have two different websites to show you guys how to benchmark your browser. Now, most people know about benchmark, benchmarking a Windows PC or a Mac. You know, you get a score, and you know you brag to your friends about it, or whatever. Um, this will be the exact same process, except uh, we'll be benchmarking your internet browser. Again, this works with all browsers. So, there's two websites uh, you guys go to. Uh, they'll, they'll be in the description below. The one of them is called peace, peacekeeper.futuremark.com, and the other one is called sunspite, sunspider, uh, webkit.org. I'll, I'll have in the description. So, open up the browser you use the most and go to this website. If you get a um, little thing right here saying your, your Java plugin needs the permission to run, you guys click always run on the site. As you guys can see I'm using Google Chrome which is uh, rated the, one, the best browser and the most used browser on the market. So as soon as you get to this website guys all you gotta do is click the big go button right here And as you see, my, my mouse is actually flickering inside there. And now it's just going to do a bunch of tests. So it might get a lower score if, since I'm recording, uh, I'm not sure. But I don't think it should matter too much. So as you see down below here, guys, you can see what, what it's testing. So we have this test increases the number of squares. Fast desktops should breeze through while tablets and smart phones start to slow. So you guys can do this. Um, on anything that basically goes to the internet, so you guys can do it on uh, computers, or Windows, Mac, Linux, um, Android devices, phones, anything that really supports HTML5, you guys can do this. So as you guys can see, it just does like a, a bunch of like pictures and like moving things to test different things about your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and uh, when it's almost done, I will put you guys back in it. Okay, so we're back here and as you guys can see, I have finished the results. I got a final score of 1578, 1578. Um, HTML, HTML, HTML5 capabilities are 7 out of 7 and here we go so it, so it shows you the results that were recently tested so here at the top I have mine, so Google Chrome um, it looks like a bunch of tablets so as you guys can see the uh, LG Optimus phone is the lowest than 96 and the highest is the Acer Iconia W500 running Windows 8 with 405 so obviously guys, um, computers with better graphics cards and processors were all honestly going to get a higher one. Um, my computer is 4 years old so I can picture you guys getting a higher um, score than mine, especially if you have a gaming PC. Uh, once I paused the video, it ran some uh, rendering tests, so how fast your computer can render or your, your browser can render two things at once, and then it played videos, etc. So that's your... Uh, benchmark for on the Peacekeeper website. One other website you guys can try out if you were feeling good is uh, the SunSpider JavaScript benchmark. Now the cool thing with this one is um, it's made to be real world balanced and statistically sound. But the cool thing with SunSpider JavaScript benchmark is the SunScript or Sunspire JavaScript actually is in many web browsers like Safari, Google Chrome, and and uh, Android tablets are also based also use this rendering engine. This is its rendering engine, like I said, for Google Chrome, Safari, uh, I believe a couple of different browsers, and also Android stuff. So the cool thing is you're actually using a piece of part of Android almost to test your browser. So I gotta go down here and hit uh, start spider. And it will 
do its thing. So this one isn't as cool to watch as you guys can see. Uh, let's stick watching little words fly across the screen. So I am going to pause this one and come back to you guys when I got something you guys can watch. Alright, I'm back. It only took about 30 to 40 seconds for this one to go. Uh, it is much faster than the other one. And this one is more of a straight to the point. It's a, it's a JavaScript. The other one does rendering and all that stuff. Now, this one right here, it's a little hard to read the results. For this one, you're going to look at the total. The total right there, the lower the total, the better. That means it did, it did everything faster. So for mine, it took me 486 milliseconds. If yours didn't, 400, that's better than this computer. So other stuff you get. Some other stuff you guys can see here. We got 3D rendering, um, binary trees, bit topes, um, date, math, and a bunch of other string stuff. So really, this this one right here is more for the guys that actually know what stuff is. If you're watching this video and you have no idea what this stuff is, I do not suggest it at all using this one. I suggest the other one, um, especially the other one. If you want, if you're gonna watch it, the other one's much more fun to watch. But that's about it for this video, guys. Again, I'll have the two uh, benchmarking websites in the, in the description below. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Chip Low Seven, and I'm signing off.